Hi, this is Jeff. Welcome to my video about tropical fish tanks water quality. So bad water quality symptoms could be that your fish are gasping at the surface or swimming lethargically or even changing color from bright to dark or dull. There are no visible lesions you can see, but they may be swimming with fins clamped or kind of close to their side. Many fish of different species are affected and possibly the whole tank. If the water's been bad for a while, the fish may have fin rot or streaks of blood in their fins. If fish are gasping at the surface or have purple gills, high ammonia or low dissolved O2 may be the problem. Test ammonia and dissolved O2. If the main symptom is inactivity, test nitrates, nitrites, sorry, pH, dissolved O2, and nitrates. Depending on your test results, try the following. Okay, first ammonia. Change enough of the water to reduce ammonia levels to one to two parts per million for fresh water or below one part per million for salt water. If that means changing more than a third of the water, be sure the water you add is the same temperature, salinity, hardness, and pH of the tank water. It's also okay to do multiple smaller water changes for a few days. Aerate and make sure pH is at or below 7.0 for fresh water tanks. In addition to or instead of changing water, you can also add a dose of Amquel to give fish immediate relief. Find out why ammonia is present and correct the problem. For nitrites, change enough of the water to bring nitrites down to below two parts per million. As with ammonia, if this is a lot of water, do multiple water changes. Add one teaspoon per gallon, tablespoon per gallon, sorry, of salt. Not all fish may tolerate this much. Start out with one teaspoon and add supplemental aeration and find out why the nitrite levels are high and correct the problem. For low oxygen, run an air stone. If this helps a lot, the fish probably don't have enough oxygen in the water and your tank may need cleaning, fewer fish, or additional water movement at the surface from a power head, air stone, or filter. If the pH is too low, make sure carbonate buffering is adequate, at least 5 dKH. In general, adding baking soda at 1 teaspoon per 30 gallon raises it about 2 degrees for a 10 to 20 gallon tank that just needs uh, the pH a little higher, try about a quarter of a teaspoon. And if that isn't enough, add up to a teaspoon more. And you can scale this up for larger tanks. If the pH is still too low, you can go ahead and clean the whole tank. For long-term buffering in salt water and alkaline freshwater systems, add crushed coral. If the pH is too high, if pH down, uh, phosphoric acid can be added. So don't rely on this stuff except in extreme situations like ammonia poisoning because it can cause excessive algae growth. If lower pH long-term to lower the pH long-term, filter over peat or use distilled or deionized water mixed with your tap water. All right, I hope that was helpful. A couple little tips. There's a lot more I could see on water quality. But I also want to offer you a free fish compatibility guide so you can know which fish you can put together in a tank before you buy them. It's a really great guide. Just click the link below this video or you could go directly to tropicalfishtanksblog.com slash guide.html or just go to the blog and you'll see this uh, image on the blog. Just click on that and you can get your fish compatibility guide. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.